Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of January 31st through February 7th for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then again Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can just check back in a couple of days. You could watch a reading from a different part of your chart, or you could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you. Readings are timeless. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. Then you'll know if I make any announcements on the channel and of course when any new readings are posted too. So let's begin and get the guidance for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please? What messages do you have for Gemini? All right. So we will begin with our tarot reading here, then we'll do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading too. All right, we begin here with the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. You've got the Lovers, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Well, I feel like you got good things coming in, but there's somebody who's jealous of you, Gemini. You've got Gemini here, and you've got air in general, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got fire and water, too. So you've got all the elements. And, you know, when I picked the, when I looked at these, I really did <laughs> almost, to me, it was very symbolic. Sorry about that. I had a call that dropped us. I was just saying this was symbolic the way the Seven of Swords is looking back at what I think is your good fortune. It's somebody here. And I feel like they're um, they're they're a little relentless. You know, they kind of keep... And it's nothing, you know, with the Seven of Swords, with a proper warning and precaution, you'll handle it just fine. But I do feel like it's somebody who's very insecure maybe work related with all the pentacles that are here, especially if you're assigned to something and they're a little bit jealous and it, and it may not be money that you get back, but it may be an assignment that brings in some prestige. And um, the way that this person is, though, they cut a lot of corners if it's work related and maybe it's in general, but I do feel like if it's a coworker, they don't, <laughs> they try to get away with the bare minimum. Then they get mad when somebody else gets, you know, gets uh, recognized or promoted in some way. So with this, it is definitely a, a card that you can manage and just kind of the, the tarot gives you guidance to avoid it. So be aware of it is what I was going to say there. Um, so you've got the Ten of Pentacles here and it's uh, the Wealth card and it's a card of prosperity coming in. So again, with work, I do feel like you've got some nice energies with work, money, and money in general. So it may be too that Seven of Swords could possibly just be somebody around you that you feel like uncomfortable being yourself and being, you know, instead of being excited about good things, you kind of mute it down a little bit because of their circumstances and their personality. So with the Ten of Pentacles, it's a harmonious energy though. And I feel like it's this Seven of Swords is really isolated to one character. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles has more to do with your overall scheme in life, okay? It's not just the money, but it's also too, you see this couple in the background and the way that they look at each other. And, you know, now in this card, we've got Adam and Eve here and, and Eve is looking up a bit at Archangel, um, um, Raphael, but I still feel like there's sort of this connection with you and someone here and, and they really respect and admire you and they want to see you be happy. They want to see you succeed. You've got nice aspects all around you, but this is also a reminder to appreciate things around you and that it'll bring in momentum. So the five of swords is a change. So for some of you, if there's been some competition with the seven of swords or some drama around it it really is about leaving it be I do feel like you've got a potential to kind of tell somebody off and it might be in writing I do see that in writing like writing a letter or something and they say calibrate your words and I know that's part of your gift but I do get a little bit nervous for you that you may be so direct with it that it changes things 
in a way that you might not want them to change. It may be more permanent than you're intending. Intending, So allow this to be what it is. It's kids playing with wands. It's kind of like kids with Nerf guns. It's nothing that can really hurt you, but it does feel like you're not interested in child's play or if it's an ex that's creeping back in, you're just not interested in low-level drama. I, th I think if it's an ex, you're likely to block the person because you do have a soulmate here. And it looks more like new love with this Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups brings in an offer. And so if you've had some immature relationships and they just haven't been long lasting and you're wanting more, the Knight of Cups shows up and brings more. He brings integrity, stability, and a vision. And so I do feel like you have a vision going on in general for your life map, really seeing things as I look at the cards in working on being in focus with maybe more than one, you know, being in focus with one thing rather than a lot of different things. Um, as I look at that five of wands too, kind of wanting to be a little more intentional. Gemini tends to be a very busy sign. You're kind of all over the place doing a lot of things. You know, you may have a lot of friends, very outgoing sign, and it may just feel like, you know, for a minute, I just need to simmer down here. I get that for somebody like you're really wanting to get a, a more like a laser focus. You don't have the eight of pentacles here, but that did come into my mind. So with this Knight of Cups, you've definitely got somebody who is interested in you and, and is serious. And then it leads into the lovers. There's a soulmate energy here. It's definitely a match and it's an important relationship. So if you haven't had a lot of serious relationships and it's been more in those developing kind of immature states, this is something developed and it's also your energy. So this is also about you being in your personal power and all those gifts that you have, being able to kind of hone those, focus those, there's something important about focusing right now that they keep saying. And so it really is about focusing your energy and allowing yourself to thrive. You know, there's also um, in this card a, a level of acceptance and self-mastery here indicated by the characters. And so it's also about you kind of coming into your own and feeling good about the choices that you make, feeling confident about the direction that you're headed in. So if you choose to cut somebody off, you're not going to regret it with this energy here. And it also, too, speaks to obstacles in life and overcoming those. So it does give a nice indicator that any problems that you have are very minor. They're really just things that you're kind of maneuvering around. And it's part of life. Now, this is where, you know, I mentioned earlier with the um, emails or writing or letter, being kind of careful with that because the Knight of Swords will get right to the cut right to the chase and even though it's communication it's very sudden and it may be like i said something that could really change a dynamic permanently so be aware does it need to be said and does it need to be said by me and if the answers to either of those are no then there's your answer focus on something else but if you feel like you really need to set a boundary with someone it's just this is the energy behind it so just kind of be aware of that because it could be could be detrimental in some way. So be thoughtful. And again, this this is kind of a rash energy moving forward. Now, for some of you too, it may be information that you get about this individual that comes in and stirs up a lot of emotion for you. It makes you mad and it makes you want to just be done with them. So be aware of that because there's definitely two storylines go going on in here. I mentioned earlier, I feel like you do get some kind of promotion the Six of Pentacles is about balance, but it's also a reciprocity. It's a reciprocal kind of energy, and it, but one person has a little more to give. So in a relationship, you may find that there's somebody that has more time or and they do a lot of nice things. So they, they have more time to take care of things and make those little gestures where maybe you're getting more into the mindset of a little more focus, a little less busy. And that is something that really will go a long way. And it may feel like you want to reciprocate too. They start doing things, you want to do it back, and it causes you to be even more focused so that you're not wasting time on things that aren't really worth your time. So the Six of Pentacles is a, a nice energy in terms of money too. And again, I feel like you're getting some kind of promotion here or something. 
The Three of Wands is a card of success, but it's also, this can also be a card of waiting. So if you've been waiting for money or been waiting for a love, they're coming in. And, and it's also, though, a card of being very relaxed about it. So he's not waiting with anxiety or fear. He knows, and it gives you time to kind of think and be thoughtful about where you're headed in life. So as we talked about with the Knight of Cups, it's interesting that those two are right next to each other because they're both the cards of that visualizer, of that person who really is able to take a look at the landscape and figure out where they're going, where they've been, where they're going. So it is success, so it is moving forward. So in terms of work, I do feel like that's very solid, but I also think there's a good relationship here, along with somebody that may be on the way out. So... Um, let's see here what the angels have to say for Gemini. I'm sorry about any interruptions during the reading that happens occasionally and can't be helped. I'm just glad I noticed it so I didn't continue in the reading and, you know, go on and on and not have any of it recorded. <laughs> let's get a yes, no, maybe... All right, you have communicate clearly. Well, there's definitely clear communication. Again, um, it's just more a matter of being intentional. So I, I would agree with this, that there's something important here. Got a golden opportunity. I definitely feel like there's something related to money and work. And even if it's not directly being paid for doing it, it does give you just a little bit of an edge over, over everyone else. So or if there's something you're trying to go out and do on your own, a venture of your own, and you're thinking about it with that Three of Wands, it's, it definitely looks like a nice opportunity here. And there may be a timing thing with that. We'll see what they have to say. It's up to you, they say. So I do agree with that. I think whatever the Seven of Swords is, it's nothing you can't manage. And it really isn't. It's It truly is like it's in your hands to kind of redirect it. In the near future is your timeline, so definitely things are coming into alignment. Now, they say there's something better. So there may be more opportunities here awaiting you, and you just have to be open to them and, and looking around, being open and not only, you know, just waiting, but also taking some action. So if it's like a job and you're wanting to look online for things, um, there may be something else here. So don't limit yourself. And when you ask, you can ask for this or something better. Well, I love you, Gemini, and I'll be back again soon.